On today's episode of Identity, we revisit a chat with social entrepreneur Sfiso Ngobese. I take on a fitness challenge in Pefeni, Soweto. What's Happening features the review of a mental health app and a self-improvement website. And Shabalala Rhythms and Oliver Mtuguzi play us out. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Hello and welcome to another episode of Identity, Mzansi's favorite multi-faith youth show. I'm your host, Bliwe Kuala. The month of February is Healthy Lifestyle Awareness Month. This month has been set aside to highlight the importance of healthy living, as well as the five elements that make up a healthy lifestyle. These are promotion of good nutrition, regular physical activity, tobacco control, taking steps against alcohol and substance abuse, and the promotion of safe sexual behavior. The identity team would also like to remind and encourage you to be proactive about your health. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. While still on the subject of health matters, yesterday marked World Cancer Day, a day that aims to bring about a global awareness of various types of cancer. It also aims to explore how we can all play a part in reducing the impact of cancer. Visit www.cancer.org.za for more information. Now it's time to check out today's inspirational throwback interview. I recently had the pleasure of hosting social entrepreneur Sfiso Ngobese in the Identity Coffee Shop. This young man has made it his goal to make waste collection safer for informal recyclers while using their cards as somewhat of an unconventional marketing platform. Take a look at how our conversation went. Today I'm joined by a young man who holds a bachelor's degree in economics as well as honors degree in econometrics from the University of Johannesburg. After graduating, he landed a job at one of the country's most reputable international investment banks. For most people, this would have been an I've arrived moment, not for Spisongo Mesim. Two years later, this young man quit his job and started a marketing company called Unconventional Media Solutions. Today the company runs a project that aims to help make waste collection safer for informal recycling who are also known as Abu Machereza. I can't wait to find out more about his journey. Spiso, welcome to Identity. Thank you for having me. Very, sure. very excited. Link, Abu yeah. I really want to get into it. But sure. before we get into the interview, Gabanzi, please tell us about your background. Okay, so we are in Soweto. Um, uh, why city in, in particular? I was raised by a single parent, Mama Mami. Mm-hmm. Um, so, which was very tough. You know, my mom played a role of being a, both a father and a mother. Um, so, after went to high school. After high school, luckily, I went. I was accepted at the University of Johannesburg, where I pursued a, um, a qualification in BCom Economics. Mm-hmm. Then, subsequent to that, I did my honors in Econometrics. But while I was doing that, I was doing a graduate program within Investec Bank okay. uh, within risk management. I spent 20 months in the graduate program. Then um, after that I did, I was employed on a full-time basis within mm-hmm. uh, group credit risk. Okay. Yeah. Njongo, you were speaking about your challenges, I mean, being raised by a single parent. And become spiritually aware of yourself. Um, my mom, you know, she raised us as young Christian boys. Mm-hmm. The foundation was there at a very early age. Mm-hmm. So my mom, every time before Slala, because people are so You know, we used to stay in a shack um, somewhere in Rockville. And I remember quite clearly, we would say, to 8 o'clock. So, and we still do that today, uh, by the way. Um, so the foundation was laid at a very early age. Um, so I've always, um, you know, being a spiritual person because of my mom. Mm-hmm. What role has spirituality played in your life in Jungaba Um It has guided me. You know, but my spirit, spirituality, uh, my definition is different from the rest. Um, okay. I believe, for instance, the basis of spirituality is me seeing a God in you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not necessarily Christianity or Judaism. I believe um, spirit, any religion is the relative truth, not the absolute truth. Mm-hmm. I think I can learn something from Judaism, from Islam, from Buddh- um, and Buddhism. So my perspective is very broad in terms of what spirituality is, and I take some principles and some elements and I implement them. Okay. Sure. What drew you to economics and econometrics? 
Um, love. I did well in economics in high school. Okay. Um, and I, I love the fact that it's a social science. So you're studying human behavior. You're studying how eco um, economic agents behave within a particular setting. Mm -hmm. So I love that uh, about economics. And I fell in love with it. And besides that, it had better career opportunities uh, than other courses that I, I was choosing uh, between. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is Unconventional Media Solutions and what services do you offer? Sure. Um, Unconventional Media is an exciting outdoor media company that provides alternative and innovative outdoor media solutions. Um, we offer two exciting products. The first one is interactive mobile billboards, which are yeah. mainly used for brand activation. Uh, so it's a tricycle where you can plug a signage and you use that uh, tricycle in any heavy spot. Okay. Um, and we basically promote any product that is advertised on the tricycle and we have what we call the brand ambassador. So this is a guy who champions a brand and just gives you a pamphlet or any mm -hmm. promotional items. Okay. So that's one product. And then the second one is Abu Makareza. So Abu Makareza is a township slang mm -hmm. um, that simply translates to um, recycling hustlers. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everyone is familiar with the guys who pull trolleys mm -hmm. collecting recyclable material. So the biggest challenge that they face on a daily basis mm -hmm. is obviously the trolleys that they use. Um, it's got poor visibility, it breaks down easily. So we saw an opportunity within unconventional media and said, how about you create a much more safer trolley for the guys um, mm -hmm. that first of all allows them to collect more waste and therefore they can earn a better income. Secondly, the trolley acts as a mobile billboard as well. Mm -hmm. So companies can advertise their brands and just tell their stories. But Sophie, so how do you get, you know, the two to correlate? Because Abu Makhrez, Abu Makhrez, you know, these could be, you know, business, part of business, you know. So how do you get buy-in for such an unconventional business model? Sure. Yeah, well, it's, 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 a, it's a very difficult sale. Because mm. um, even companies putting their brands on a trash bin, mm. it's, it's very difficult to convince them to do so. But it's an ongoing battle. And when what we're saying is that you know, the more brands we have, the more trolleys we'll be able to roll out, the more impact uh, we'll be able to have Kubo mm Because -hmm. the guys are involved in fatal accidents mm -hmm. because people can't see them. So what we're saying is that we're introducing much more safer trolleys on the road mm -hmm. that are much more visible. We also give them the gear, by the way. Okay. So we give them protective gear that is visible at night. Uh, and also another beautiful aspect of the project is the fact that if we have content that is placed on our trolleys, mm -hmm. then the guys get to share in the advertising revenue. So 10% of the advertising revenue gets shared with the guys within Abu Makhreza project. Mm -hmm. So Abu, Abu, um, the informal waste pickers within Abu, Abu Makhreza project. What are some of the challenges that you faced with this particular project? It's, um, uh, it's, it's mainly companies uh, getting involved. Uh, but how we've tackled that is that uh, First of all, we distribute these trolleys with the buyback center and pick it up. Pick it up is our strategic partner. Okay. So we place these trolleys um, at some depots mm -hmm. uh, within Johannesburg. So the guy will wake up, um, go and get the trolley, go for his collection rounds, come back and just drop, up, drop off the trolley. Um, and once it's done, um, he sends a report and that's it. Right, so um, it's another way for us to ensure brand integrity mm -hmm. on behalf of our clients mm -hmm. and to get a buy-in of, of our clients. And secondly, we've realized that companies don't know how to use this particular platform. So what we've done is that we've created um, very slick, very cool messages on our trolleys okay. that companies can buy into. So if a company has a strong CSI initiative that mm -hmm. is in relation to um, recycling HIV and AIDS, you can create a message for them mm -hmm. and say, you know, you can, you can punt uh, what you're doing uh, with with regard to HIV and AIDS and put it on a trolley. Because these guys, there's 43,000 of these guys in the sure. city of Johannesburg. Sure. So in terms of brand visibility, mm. there's a huge opportunity for your brand to be exposed. Mm. Sure, that's so inspirational, Sfi. So, okay, speaking about inspiration, and I'm trying to say a word game, if you saw the magic if. Please answer as quickly as possible because obviously the operative word is it's a game. So, Melissa Lale, quickly, oh, and we okay. must have fun with it. If you were stranded on a deserted island, which three people would you like to be stranded with? Okay, that's very simple. Uh, it's my mom and my two brothers. If you could visit any planet, what would it be? It would probably be planet Mars, because apparently men are from Mars. <laughs> if you could be a character in a TV show, what genre would it be? Uh, animation. Okay. If you had to change your name to a cartoon character's name, what name would you choose? 
let's put the girls because sometimes I'm invisible. Oh, <laughs> and so, right now you're going to be invisible. I can just, be, I can just, it's just, it's going to be invisible. Thank you so much, sure. Fisopoit, for joining us. Love Only a identity. pleasure. Thank you for having me, brother. It way. is a pleasure. Yeah. We hope that Sfiso's story has encouraged entrepreneurs across all industries to identify social issues around Mzansi and work towards making a valuable contribution to solving those problems. Once again, thank you to Sfiso Ngobese for sharing his passion with us. Kwa ni nga posa si skwendi se ti se mida review. Esbo ni se ef, eza kuni poshi sa obu kopo mi website, eza kuni ngaita ni kutazek ebo min. Siya buya ngu. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity right here on SAPC One Zanzi for sure. I'm Viwe Kwala. With February being Healthy Lifestyle Awareness Month, we thought it was the perfect opportunity to take a look at how I did when the identity team challenged me to practice what we preach by taking up healthy lifestyle practices. So when I heard about Rifilo Mudzabi's fitness and holistic lifestyle workshop in Petheni Soweto, I had to get involved. The team decided to join me on this excursion and document my experience. Take a look at what went down. This is my identity. Hi guys and welcome to the Pefeni Sports and Recreational Center right here in Soweto. So I've taken on a challenge which is a fitness challenge that is organized by Cougar Fit Boutique. I'm so excited because I'm going to break into a sweat. But before we get into that, let's check out more about today's activity. <laughs> Founder of Cougar Fit Boutique. Rifire, welcome to Identity. I wanted to find out about the name of your organization. Where does it come from and what inspired that particular name? The name actually, when we were drafting it, we were actually looking for totems, and that's when the mountain lion came to, you know, to picture. Then we thought cougar, but people then will think, eh, cougar, yeah, you know, old woman. But actually, it's just a totem of a lion, a, a mountain lion. So when we took it upon us, we were like, people, it's a catchy name, and they'll never forget it. And what's the aim of today's event? Uh, the aim of today, today's event is actually a holistic approach to teaching people how to, to eat right and how to train right and to put just a little bit of yoga in it because some people they think yoga is strictly luxurious which is not it's something that everybody should actually practice just for 10 minutes even though okay so what are the particular activities that we can look forward to today are uh, you going to be looking forward to boxercise because that's what I do professionally as a personal trainer. So I'm going to be drilling a whole lot of you. I hope you guys are ready. Then after that, um, we're going to be doing yoga inside. Muscles are going to be sore though. Muscles are going to be sore. But we're open to that. Thank you so much, Rufilo. So obviously to get into today's activities, I need to change into my fitness gear and work off all those cupcakes that I keep on snacking on. But while that's happening, let me go change and we'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, I am so tired, but I feel refreshed and invigorated at the same time. So what are the benefits of this exercise regime we just took part in? Uh, the whole benefit of the whole exercise is actually body conditioning, because when you start to train, we should train the whole body to check where your fitness level is at. That one that we, we just did with us is for people who just, you know, starting, because we can't kill you. Yes. So if, if you're on that level, that's the one that you can do, especially the Lalo Kong So last night you raise Kong Kong, you don't need that expensive gym equipment. How important is it for young people? to actually you know do activities that are physical such as these say for a week so how much activity should they put into it three times a week if you suggest starting then that's fine but me I'll say if you're young because you still have energy just try to do that like six times just have one day off thanks to Rufilo for that information now it's time for yoga let's get into it I feel so calm and I feel content, you know. But I want to find out from you, does yoga have a spiritual connection? Yes, it does because it, it basically it opens your chakras 
and I guess it so basically let me go to the African tradition if your your chakras are closed obamu to all kind of like lost we need to put God first before we do anything with me after God comes my ancestors then after that everything comes down to me you feel you should do this you feel you shouldn't do that so yoga in a way it opens up you yourself the aura around you then you get to understand where you go in with life what other benefits come with yoga the physical one I, I personally I like the physical one because people have as a yoga they should be thinking you just stretching they don't they don't realize that you exercising intensely from inside out now that we're done with the physical activities it's time now to go into the nutritional aspects of well-being and health how we command our, our body through food which sometimes we might have a unhealthy relationship with body and food Did the event today meet your expectations? Yeah, actually it did uh, as a boxer because I've never done yoga before. It was good for my muscles because usually I don't I don't ever uh, stretch my muscles. I just train and then leave gym like that. I never stretch so I think it's pretty good. What lessons did you learn today that you'll take away with when you go home? Um the yoga The yoga was fantastic. Uh, it was very like spiritual, very fun and relaxing. Yes, so I I will take that home. Were your expectations met today? Yes, fully and more. Um basically I struggled at first, but I got in the hang of things. So yeah, basically my expectations were met. Refilo the theme for today was it's never too late. Why did you settle for that theme? I actually settle for that thing because sometimes people they overthink training. You don't need that January thing that people do. You don't need that thing. Yeah. You can easily just say I'm starting and you can even start Saturday or Monday or any any time. So it's never too late to start training. How important is it for batch, especially mukokasi, you know, to be able to align themselves with a healthy mind and a healthy body and a healthy soul? It's very very important. We see a lot of energies but it's being misused because but how they don't find their true selves find your true self stop doing what your friends are doing find you do you and once you start to do you you dance to your own rhythm so if we teach kids be you respect yourself respect the elders respect god and always come back to your ancestors things will go straight It's been a physically challenging morning and I'm so surprised that I can walk and talk at the same time. But I feel invigorated and refreshed and quite knowledgeable. I hope you guys learned a great deal at home too. But from me right here at Soweto, it's back to regular programming at the Identity Coffee Shop. This is my identity. That was indeed a day well spent. And I must say that being challenged by the team encouraged me to take a good look at my health and lifestyle choices and to make better decisions that are good for my mind, body and soul. Ingabe nani ni naona amacebo empilo eningathanda kwabelana nabubuke bemzansi for sure. Sasi sene ukuthumela email ku identitytvshow@gmail.com. Ningasifumana ku social media, singo Identity TV Show ku Facebook, ku Twitter na ku Instagram. Join me after the break for a look at this week's media reviews. Today we feature a mental health app and a website to help you work your way towards self-improvement. See you in a moment. This is my identity. This is my identity. Nisabukele eyo nanqubo eshushu yenkolo ezahlukene eyo lutsha i-identity khona apha ku SABC 1 Zanzi for sure ndikumsasazi wena uviwe gcwala uba usalungena uphosiwe sibuyele emva kwinxoxo nomphathi we unconventional media solutions usifiso ngobese sayobona nokuba iqalele i-identity libuye nantoni na apho khona ndamkele isimemo sokuzilolonga gogo ligqesha lokubona ezamba phambili nanku WhatsApp ne Mental health is just as important as physical and spiritual health. With the advancement of technology, we now have access to apps that help you with health matters of all kinds. Today's app aims to help improve the lives of those living with mental disorders and to equip users with the knowledge of their rights. It's called Mental Health. 
The Mental Health app was created as a tool to help individuals understand the most common mental health problems, as well as their signs, symptoms and effects. The homepage provides a collection of recommended articles covering a range of topics. For more specific, topic-related articles, choose from the menu on the left-hand side of the app. The app features conditions such as anxiety and panic, bipolar disorder, depression, eating disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, stress management, as well as substance abuse and addiction. Select a topic of your choice, click on an article and get reading. Each article offers information from the latest medical advancements to tips on living with the condition and providing support for a loved one. Learn more about depression in the 11 warning signs of a depression relapse article and learn the difference between eating disorders such as the binge eating disorder and anorexia. You can also find out about the positive impact that exercise has on mental health. Get a better understanding of mental health with the help of the Mental Health app. Visit the South African Federation for Mental Health website on www.samfh.org.za for more information. Now on to our next review. It's a website dedicated to providing self-improvement and personal productivity tools. It's www.pickthebrain.com www.pickthebrain.com is a motivational and self-improvement blog aimed at helping individuals to reach their full potential. The homepage gives quick access to the recommended articles of the day. For motivation-focused articles, select the Motivation tab. And for tips on how to increase productivity in all areas of your life, select the Productivity tab. If you're looking for health and fitness advice, the Health tab will come in handy with articles that focus on a nutritional diet, sleeping, self-medication, and all you need to know about taking up a healthy lifestyle. The Self-Improvement tab offers a list of articles to help you work towards becoming the best version of you. For an index of the most popular self-improvement articles featured on the website, select the Articles option. The articles are listed under subtopics such as personal productivity, philosophy, self-education and writing. The website also offers a 30 or 90 day period option for inspirational articles to refer to on a day-to-day -day basis. Take steps towards improving your life by adding www.pickthebrain.com to your bookmarks today. identity. email show at gmail.com. social media. Funani Identity TV Show ku Facebook, ku Twitter, na ku Instagram. Today we play out with a collaboration between Shabalala Rhythms and the acclaimed Oliver Mdukuzi. Here's their track called Siana Nae. From me, Virakwala and the Identity Team, have a blessed week. Goodbye. Siana Nae Andi kwa nize kumuta orira Siwe Siana Nae Usukalela usuakuna Song chela lento, song chela yuna. Angu zofu, angu zofu. Tati si anana ye. Suga lela, suga kuna. Song chela lento, song chela yuna. Angu zofu, angu zofu. Tati si anana ye. Utigi imina. Si anana ye. Angzuga ni mitumbia. Akatana na panenzo ya la ganja. Si anana ye. Uwe uwe. Siana na ye, uti gimi 